Meltem! Don't leave me, Meltem! Please don't leave me! Meltem! I'm here with you. You're gonna be fine. Meltem! Meltem, open your eyes. Here I... Meltem! Did you bring me to the hospital? Why did you do that, huh? I wish you had left me there and let me die. Young man, a word. Thanks. You brought Zainab here right on time. He was my whole life. I've only loved him since I was a little girl. He's always been my whole life. But he went and broke my heart. I feel like there was a flower in my heart and it was broken. Honey, he'll come beg you to take him back. You'll see that he'll totally come and ask for forgiveness. It doesn't matter anymore. Nothing will be like old times ever again. What would you do if... if Takin did the same thing to you? Would you forgive him? Look, isn't that him? Who's him? Where? Ruzgar, the one who brought you to the hospital. Oh, yeah, it's him. Let's go and thank him. Come on, sis, he carried you into the hospital.
used to stay here before? That's why we thought that. Oh, dear God. Hello. I'm Hande. We haven't met before. Zainab, you already know, right? I just wanted to thank you for taking me to the hospital. What do you want? Well, we came to thank you. That's really it. We said we came to say thank you. Didn't you hear us? Fine. Okay. Okay, you thanked me. Now leave. Is he crazy? Let's get out of here, come on. He's such a brute, like a beast. I don't understand how he rescued you. Ugh. Such a brute. <sighs> Knock on the door. Not home, let's go. Uh, we have a totally idiotic idea. Well. I don't have time for totally idiotic ideas. Though. But you can totally make some money. Uh-huh. Big money. Five hundred dollars. Get out of here. Give us just two minutes. I told you. I told you he's crazy. You're crazy. That's why I wanted to talk to you one more time. Because I think you're a nice person. Zainab's happiness is so important for us. And that guy cheated my niece by knowing about all this. Now I ask you again. If you could be with Zainab and help her tomorrow, it, it would be like a big favor to all of us. We can go.
Zainab. Don't leave us, honey. I just can't do it. I can't run into Katai at that wedding. I can't. But look how sad you're making all the girls. Your grandfather, too. I'll come back again. When all this is over with, I'll come back again, okay? Someone's coming, Uncle Muammar. I sure as heck hope it's not Katai. Bring me my gun now, Sadik. Sure thing. Hold on, Dad, hold on. It's Ruzgar. What's he doing here? I don't know. Should we have a talk? Accept your offer. But you don't know what the offer was. So what? I still accept it. <laughs> I told you he needed the money. Look! What? Devil, and his name is Kutai. He had to come to our town around summertime. Zainab and he go way back, you know. Childhood crush. He's a high flyer, you know? All the girls were in love with him. Captain of the volleyball team? He excelled at tennis, too. He knows two languages, and his English is perfect. He studied in the U.S., graduated in Boston. The trouble is, we're gonna have to make you cooler than him. Exactly right. For example, if he plays tennis really well, you are good at sailing, okay? He knows two languages, and you know three. He studied in Boston, so you studied at Columbia. If his name is Kutai, yours is, um... Ruzgar. Ruzgar! Ruzgar is a good name. We won't change it. Where was I? Tell her not to exaggerate. It's clear what we have here is a mess. Uh, I think we shouldn't spend too much time on languages. Just work on his appearance. That's enough. Absolutely. Absolutely.
Look at that, he's learning pretty fast, isn't he? You think? Oh! <laughs> Bravo! At first, I kept thinking you were crazy, but it turns out you're not. That guy... Katai... He's caused you much pain. I've lived my whole life loving him. I know very well what it means to be in love. Bruzgar? You're really nice. And thank you for all your help, I mean it. Who is he, Zeynep? Goodness gracious, Sadik, that's Ruzgar. Oh, the crazy guy. I can't believe it. Sister, hmm? I think we did pretty well, right? Really well, Isla. Uh, Grandpa, should Ruzgar and I get going already? Go ahead. We'll be right behind you. Okay, okay.
Where did the car come from? I borrowed it from a friend. From who? What's the difference? Sonic didn't recognize you. I guess it really worked. Think we need some rehearsing? Sounds good. All right. Uh, what do you say when they ask what you do? Architect. That's right. Which um, college did you graduate from? MIT. That's wrong. You graduated from Columbia in the US. What I said was much cooler. Why do you say that? I did a little research on the internet. Figured studying was a part of this gig, right? Are you nervous? I am. Are you ready? I don't know. You look at me so strange. As if you were searching for something in me. Like we've known each other for a long time, Ruzgar. Shall we go in? We're late. Why did you stop? I'm really scared. Hello there, Uncle Sivan. Hello there. Hello there. Welcome, young man. Thank you, sir. Han, you look so beautiful. Thank you for saying so. Where is your grandfather? Uh, on the road. They'll be here shortly. Zainab has arrived. See you later. Come on in. failing me? Or was Zainab holding the hand of that man? No. You saw perfectly well, Erdem. Well done, my boy. You lost such a beautiful girl. Aww. There goes that. Who's that man, Mom? How would I know, my son? This. You need it. This isn't gonna go as we'd hoped for. See that? Takin should have told me if Zainab had met someone. Why would Takin say anything to you? Is he the paparazzi? As we can see, she's found someone. It's all over now, and you know. Till I say so. The jerk is moving in. He's making a move. Look at that. He's coming over. Stay calm.
Hello, Zainab. Shall we go now? Let me talk for a second. There's nothing to say. Zainab, please stay. No. One second. Let go of me. What is he doing? I don't know. I can't see. <sighs> who are you? You'll understand who I am if you touch her again. Wow. Got ourselves a tough guy. For the wedding witnesses now, Zainib Arendel and Iberg Yomas, please. Zainab didn't introduce us. My name's Katai. Ruzgar. Do you, Takin Guven, accept Hande Seiman as your lawfully wedded wife? I do. I was just wondering, sorry. What is it you do? Architect. Oh, I know many architects in Istanbul. Do you work for a company or are you freelance? Baran Architecture. Bron Bron family, right? That them? I know them too. I hope he doesn't ask where he studied. Mm. I know them well. Mrs. Vahide and Mr. Bakir, very good people, if I may say so. And do you, Hande Seman, do you take to Kin Guven as your lawfully wedded husband? I do! <laughs> yeah! And where did you study? First the US, then Italy. Oh. Como stai? Non è sta bene. Sono un po' annoiato. Ho incontrato un idiota. You get me? Ciao. Zena. Say whatever you want to. But first, listen to what I have to say. I made a mistake. I was overwhelmed by it all. But Zainab, I love you so much. I couldn't sleep for weeks. I... I can't get you off my mind. Call me an idiot, scream, shout, spit in my face. But I really do love you, Zainab. I love you, Zainab. And I know that you still love me. Please, Zainab, listen to me. Please give me one more chance, Zainab. I'll atone for everything, everything. All I ask is give me one more chance. someone else in my life now. That's not true!
You know that's not true, Zainab. I know that's nothing but a lie. You, you can't be with anyone but me. Kiss me. Ruzgar, please kiss me. Life may play with you. Your daughter's brain doesn't function, but her organs may still save some others' lives. I felt like they were burying me that day as if they cut out my heart from my body. But that heart's beating in someone else's chest now, isn't it? While I was trying to run away from everyone, Life had other plans and sent her to me. My niece had heart problems. We hoped for two years that she was going to receive a transplant. Then we got the news. A young girl died in an automobile accident. That poor girl's heart gave life back to my Zainab. That poor girl's heart gave life back to my Zainab. Now you understand, Ruzga. That's why her happiness is so important to us. Please take me away from here. <clears throat> Good idea.
You all right? I thought I'd be, but I guess... I'm not. Because of the charade we put on? When I saw Katai... Whatever, never mind. Do you know I dreamed about that moment a lot? Which moment? Well, after I saw... Katai with a woman in a hotel room together. Our next meeting was a lot different. What happened the next time you saw him? What did you feel? I felt like there was a bird in here. It wanted to fly, but it didn't know how to. So you should teach that bird how to fly, Zainab. Because that bird can't learn how to fly without you teaching it how to, right? Come on, let me take you home so you don't catch a cold. Thank you so much for everything. Tonight would have been awful if you hadn't been there. I didn't do anything. Don't ever let anyone break your heart again. Don't worry, Ruzgar. I'll teach the bird in my heart how to fly one day. See you around. Have a good night. Every beginning has some insignificant meaning. A baby crying on the day that it is born. 
doesn't mean it's not going to laugh once it gets older. Every single night, I hear the same voices. Every day I wake up to the same reality. I guess you're right, buddy. My dreams won't end if I don't move on. Also, there was yesterday. Yeah, you're right. You don't know what I'm talking about. Never mind. Don't worry about it. There's nothing to say about what happened last night. It was all an act. It was a game. And it's over. Good morning. I hope I'm not bothering you. No. Come on in. I wanted to come and thank you personally for everything. What you did meant a lot to me. Please have a seat. Come on. your dog? Oh, it's so darn cute. Hello, pup. No, he's not mine. Actually, he showed up out of nowhere. You mean like I did? Yes. No, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> hmm. You've really settled here, haven't you? You'd never been here before? Well, when your aunt was sick, we visited her with my grandpa sometimes. Mm. That's why I know and don't listen to what my family says. Nuria is sweet. But she never actually told me about you. Ruzgar. I know it was a stupid game, but still, thank you so much for your help last night. If... It made you feel better or helped at all. I mean, actually, I don't know what I feel. Maybe with time, I don't can... believe in time. It doesn't make you forget anything. It just turns it into coal, which is ready to be burned. Maybe, but if we don't leave it to time. The only solution is to eliminate them. You mean like killing them? <laughs> no, not killing them. I mean taking them out of your heart. Hmm. What will you eliminate? Katai or your memories of him? I want to eliminate both the memories and Katai forever.
I need to get rid of Katai along with my memories, isn't that right? Last night was really great. I had a good time. Your friends are going to be happy together. Right? Aren't they so cute? Hande's the best. Did you know that I've actually known Hande since I was born? Actually, I said I'd come to see them today, and if I'm late, they'll kill me. Ruzgar, when I told you to kiss me last night... It was just a part of the game, I know. Of course, it was just a part of the game. I just hope it worked so he can stay out of my way. Seemed like he believed it. If he actually came for just the wedding, then he's gone by now. Hold on, what do you mean by came for just the wedding? Maybe he came here for you. No. No, I really don't think so. I mean, he didn't call me for over a month. Whatever. Don't be a stranger just because the game is over. My family loves you, Ruzgar. See you around. Zainab! Take care of yourself.